I'm Eric Tingwall with Car and Driver, and I'm here with Wolfgang Hotz, Head of Research and Development for Porsche. Porsche's been pretty quiet here at the Detroit show, but 2013 will definitely be a busy year for the company. In September, you guys will start production of the 918 Spider. Yeah, first of all, I think it's the most ambitious uh, concept in the moment, which will go into production, and uh, I can ensure it will be not just 700, but a little bit more than 800 horsepower. Clearly, Porsche has hybrids on their mind right now. Right. What's the thinking inside Stuttgart about an electrified 911? I think at the moment on the sports car, we have our 918 projects, and for sure, uh, some of those things which we showcase on the 918, we will see in future cars. In the moment, we concentrate very much on uh, cars like the Panamera and uh, Cayenne, on, uh, let's say, the plug-in uh, technology. Uh, on a sports car, we have to say the major enemy is weight. And so we have to find a very light solution for a sports car hybrid system uh, in combination uh, with a very powerful powertrain on the sports car. In the, in the first steps, we will concentrate on our front, wheel, uh, front engine uh, cars like Panamera and Cayenne. And with the 918, I think we, we can ensure our customers that we are prepared for the future and for the next generation's 911, we'll see what's, what we will take over from 918 budget. Now, you recently dis dispelled the rumors that Porsche was working on a mid-engine car between a 911 and a 918, a Ferrari 458 fighter. At Car and Driver, we're hearing that Porsche is interested in a front-engine two-door coupe based on the next Panamera. Is there any interest in a successor to the, to the 928? Uh, in the moment, um, there are a lot of rumors, and we are doing a lot of things in R&D. We are working, uh, for sure, on, uh, on those projects, front, or, uh, front engine, but also a super sports car. But we have not taken yet a decision, so, um, uh, but it's normal that in R&D and design, we are working very hard on, on alternative concepts, uh, which can also prove that we are really the sports car company. Back when Volkswagen, Porsche, and Audi were all interested in a sub-boxster, sports car, it sounded like a four-cylinder Porsche was inevitable. Now we know that 550 program is off the table. Is there still any interest to meet future emissions regulations, fuel economy regulations, in doing a four-cylinder sports car at Porsche? Not necessarily a new car, but a four-cylinder engine? I think downsizing, uh, we have to think about also about downsizing. And uh, I think we had very successful four-cylinder sports car in the past. And uh, I would say uh, it's quite realistic that also in some years we can offer also a four-cylinder sports car. Um, uh, we have also to take care about the environment and we have also big concerns about the environment. So we have to think about downsizing. So a four-cylinder sports car is something uh, which is not impossible. Not impossible. Volkswagen Group is currently uh, reworking their product architectures. We know that uh, Porsche is in charge of a front engine, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive platform. You're also working on MMB, which is the next generation mid engine, rear engine products. Mm -hmm. um, how does that MMB platform differ from what's under the current cars, the platform 9X1? I think uh, Porsche was always very clever to use modularity and uh, uh, it has uh, showed it with the 911 and also with the Boxster, where we have, let's say, uh, you really used a lot of um, uh, modular concepts uh, together on both cars. And uh, with that experience, I think uh, we are very well prepared for the future, even to en enhance and enlarge uh, those concepts uh, for the future. So for sure, we will uh, develop our 9X, 9X1 platform further. And one of the things is also to uh, really give other brands in the group a possibility to build up uh, also on, on, on such a modular platform the air sports car of the future. No, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you about this year's showstopper. So what did you think about the Corvette over there? No, I was already looking at her. I was uh, just in the morning, but it was still covered. Now at uh, two hours ago, I had the chance to have a first look. I think a very interesting car. 
uh, aluminum uh, chassis. Very, I think they have done a very, very good job. I am very much uh, looking forward to drive the car, to feel how sporty the car really is. And uh, I think it's a good thing to have such a new Corvette in the segment because I think it will also boost uh, sports car sales here in the United States. Yep, well, we're looking forward to driving the new Corvette right alongside your Porsche 911. Thank yes. you very much, Mr. Hotz. Thank you.